The Grassroots Innovators Project is a, a grant funding uh, project that is run through Culture Liverpool so we can su support small grassroots organisations within the communities right across Liverpool. We were so delighted with the funding we got last year from Liverpool City Council uh, and the Liverpool PCT who funded, it, funded us as a part of the Year of Wellbeing. Uh, the funding was mainly used to fund the music element of our major festival that follows on the workshops we do. If uh, the, there is understanding about different cultures, uh, it is easier to live with uh, your neighbours from any part of the world if you know what their traditions are and why they do certain things. Liverpool PCT was, was really pleased to be working with the City Council on the Grassroots Innovators project. Overall I think it's been very successful, a lot of, a lot of feedback we've had from the activities all through the year that uh, it gave people an opportunity to think about their health more, uh, to take on board a number of new activities. So uh, 2010 really helped uh, give people a lot of new thinking about different ways of improving their mental health as well as their physical health. Liverpool City Council strives to promote art and culture uh, through this grassroots programme because it works with local people and local organisations. It strives to do two things really, enhance their creative um, outlets um, within their community and also to promote health and wellbeing. Without the funding, we couldn't have offered the workshops to the guys and the girls that live on the street around Liverpool. The workshops that we offered were invaluable because it gave Crassroots the opportunity to perform live at the UK's first celebration of recovery, which was based in Wirral in 2010. We couldn't have done that performance without the money. So recently we've just uh, had funding from the City Council Grassroots to deliver a project called Daisy Chain. So we decided to do a project around teenage pregnancy. We worked with 15 wonderful uh, actors who uh, took on the challenge to do a, a really strong, hard-hitting play and installation around the whole topic of uh, teenage pregnancy. And then from that, we invited schools across Liverpool to come and uh, uh, view the play and the installation. But the main point that we delivered was us, the, the social network point. We recognized the power of the digital platforms and the wave of the future. Nobody, not many people are watching TV anymore. And so young people are definitely on Facebook, they're on Bebo, YouTube, Dig, all, all, all the networks. So by applying content that is specific for them that they make and construct, you know, that's kind of like hopefully the uh, new way for uh, Liverpool One. One strand of the year was being active and uh, we suggested that being active doesn't just mean going to a gym, it means going for a walk, it means swimming, it means dancing. So to get over the idea that any sort of physical activity is good for your health and it brings you together with other people, enables you to connect, which is one of the other ideas of uh, Five Ways to Wellbeing, which was a big part of the Year of Health and Wellbeing. Uh, and you can not just connect with other people, you can learn new things, you can take notice of the world around you and other people, and you can give, volunteer, which is one of the other key ideas. We were given a grant to do the I'm Aging project, um, which enabled us to create this exhibition, but possibly more importantly, it enabled us to do some workshops with professional artists. It meant that we were able to hire a space, we were able to get professional artists in, and we didn't have to worry about making the members pay for it. Loads of activities, loads of workshops and loads and loads of fun and it's just been for me an absolute godsend because it's gave me a reason to get up in the morning and get washed and dressed knowing I'm going out at night. We had a grassroots grant from Culture Liverpool last year which um, basically paid for us to be able to run the dance workshops and um, probably involve, involve around about 100 children and young people from the area in dance activities and performances. 
I enjoy seeing the children progress. Um, I enjoy seeing them create a self-discipline. I enjoy seeing them create um, a team where they help each other. Also, when I see them in performance, gaining confidence, it's amazing. We're an amateur dance group for adults mostly over 50. We've got one young, one young person, she's only over 40. The funding helped us to make a new dance work based on the theme of health. It's based on the health benefits of eating chocolate. We've commissioned a local young musician to do the music, which, has, which made an immeasurable difference to, to the work. We were able to work alongside a filmmaker who we worked with before to ensure that what we've got on film will be better than it would if we just hold a camera up, our, up ourselves. There's nothing greater than after a performance standing there smiling because we've enjoyed it. We know our audience has enjoyed it. We've surprised them. We got um, a grant to develop a show we called United Rhythms and that was about showcasing uh, different types of world dance to the community in Liverpool. It's been absolutely great feedback that we've had about the show and about our classes and our workshops. People are really crying out for work that celebrates different cultures around Liverpool um, in, but in a modern and um, accessible way. So that's what Movement tries to do is try to make all of these um, cultural dance forms that might be a little bit strange to people, try to make them really accessible and really modern so they're really, um, they, they make a lot of connections with, especially from younger community but also adults and, and right through right through the age groups really. So we've got kids to grandmas that can, can join in with all our activities. Culture Liverpool gave us a grant which enabled us to set up the project. We're quite a small company, we just survive on small project grants, so you know, funding like that is really essential um, to run any activity. You know, that's what we completely rely on in order to set up any of our projects. The service users on the whole, I think, um, really benefited from the, from the project. Um, the feedback was really positive, people really really got into it, really got involved with it. People made friends for life, people got interested in art, people started to play musical instruments that they haven't played for years, some people got into filmmaking, so we really, um, we feel it was really positive. You know, it was something to look forward to every week, um, and I met loads of new people. All the people I met in this group, you know, we've been to loads of things together. and made me feel confident again, because I hadn't been for a long, long while, and afterwards, Andy and Tessa talked to us what was good about what we did and getting a good feedback from Tessa was, was amazing for me and, and, and gave me a positive outlook again, which is great. Uh, the aims for the future with this programme and the working with the grassroots organisations is for that to continue um, and obviously we would hope to continue working with our partners you know, in the PCT to deliver that so we feel we can adapt our programmes, we can look at some of the issues that are being dealt with with all the communities at the moment um, and, and you know, build it stronger. It's also a way um, of gaining confidence in those communities so people can get into work, that they can get into um, college and they also gain the experience to volunteer. We hope to continue that really good work.